If you've ever watched a modern Formula One race, you've probably seen sparks shoot out from beneath a car as it speeds down a straight or through a high-speed turn. But why does this happen, and how does it affect the cars? Stay tuned to find out. Formula One cars have a plank underneath the car that runs from the back of the floor to just before the front wheels. The FIA originally introduced the plank to reduce underbody aerodynamics while also preventing the car from bottoming out as it straights. While you might think it's made of carbon fiber or another highly specialized material, it is actually made of a wood material called jabroc. In a composite process, this is constructed from beech wood with veneers and resin used on each layer. The sparks on F1 cars are generated by titanium skid blocks embedded within the plank. The skid blocks exist to protect the plank from damage, and they protrude no more than 3 millimeters from the plank itself. When the car bottoms out, the skid blocks are the first to hit the ground, causing a shower of sparks behind the vehicle. Titanium skid blocks were first used in Formula One in the 1980s and 90s, and they were reintroduced in 2015. This is what Charlie Whiting, the FIA's technical director at the time, said about their reintroduction. To explain, the plank is the long bit of wood. The skids are bits of metal within the plank. The skids have formerly been made of a heavy metal, which has been very resistant to wear, and they put the skids around the points in the plank where thickness is measured. Planks have to start off at normally 10 millimeters thick, and they can't be less than 9 millimeters thick. However, we only measure them around certain holes in the plank, so they position the skids around those holes. This metal is extremely heavy, and when pieces detach, they can be extremely harmful. We previously saw two punctures in Spa because of bits of this metal that lay in the curb and caused damage. In a worst case scenario, they could fly off and hit someone. The purpose of making them out of titanium is threefold. First, it's safer because if they come off, they are about a third of the weight of the existing ones. Secondly, the titanium wears some 2 to 2.5 times more quickly than the current metal used. Thus, cars will have to be run a little bit higher to manage wear and teams won't be able to drag them on the ground quite as much as they have in the past. The third effect is that you will see a lot more sparks, which some people think will look a little more spectacular. F1 cars run at a specific ride height and are then pushed down the track by downforce created by aerodynamics. The aerodynamic surface of the car are designed in such a way that the air flowing over it pushes it down, creating downforce and lowering the ride height. The downforce pushes the car down the straight because the amount of downforce created by the aerodynamics increases with speed. This allows the cars to take corners faster, resulting in a shorter lap time. When this helps with lateral, side-to-side -side movements and corners, there's no lateral movement on the straight. This means that aerodynamic forces lower the car's ride height, bringing it closer to the ground and increasing the likelihood of contact with the tarmac as the drivers hit bumps in the track, resulting in more sparking. It's also more common at the start of the race because cars have an additional 110 kilograms of fuel on board and are significantly heavier than at the end. Sparks can also be seen where a car runs over curbs, which are typically higher than the track and can hit the skid blocks. Contrary to what some viewers may believe, sparks coming from the car are intended to prevent damage rather than cause it. The plank on the car ensures that the team run the proper ride height. The titanium skid blocks aid in reducing damage to the plank, which is strictly measured and governed by F1 rules. A plank that sustains too much damage will be disqualified. Yarno Trulli, for example, was disqualified from his fourth place finish in the 2001 US Grand Prix due to excessive plank wear, but his Jordan team successfully appealed the decision. Since the reintroduction of titanium plates in 2015, sparks have once again become a part of F1, bringing back memories of moments such as Nigel Mansell and Ayrton Senna going wheel to wheel at Barcelona in 1991. The first race in which these plates really shine, quite literally, was at the Bahrain Grand Prix in 2015, and judging by the reaction on social media, the fans loved the spectacle. This is how Martin Brundle described it at the time. The vision of Lewis Hamilton exiting the pits on Sunday evening as Nico Rosberg was putting another monster move on the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel in his rearview mirrors whilst throwing up copious sparks, sand, and discarded rubber will stick in my mind for a good while. What are your thoughts on F1 making changes to improve the race spectacle, such as introducing titanium skid blocks to create sparks? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified of future uploads.